today is the day that our van is getting its second upgrade to its suspension. We got ourselves some sumo springs here. And boy, am I excited to put these on the van. When we drove through Baja, if we had these on our van, our life would have been so much easier. We're getting on a dirt road for 22 kilometers, so it's gonna be fun. All right, this is serious. Jesus. Oh, what was that? Super Springs hooked us up with not only the front, but also the rear sumo springs, and we're gonna put these on the van right now. I am so pumped. We already have the super springs installed on the back leafs. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. It was a pretty easy install, and it greatly reduces the sway. But today, we're putting these down on the van, and I'm hoping it's pretty quick, because it looks like it's just two bolts, one on each front sumo spring, and then we have the two back ones, which does not require any bolts whatsoever. So we're gonna get this van jacked up and we'll see how quick it takes to get these on here. Let me show you this bump stop from the factory. It is so small. This is it right here. So there's a screw on top. I'm just gonna unscrew that, take it out, and then we'll get the sumo spring in. Look at the difference of these. This is the factory. This is sumo springs. A massive difference. This thing is so big that I need to jack the tire up even more just in order to fit it. So, whew, pretty drastic. Then it's washer and nut. Take nuts in there. It's on there. It ain't going anywhere. Woo! That's pretty easy, just one bolt. Just gotta lift it, wedge it in there. It's pretty tight, but it's easy. You don't have to take the tire off at all. Two down, I still can't get over the difference in size. It's incredible. Why don't they do this? I don't know, why do they go so cheap with these things? Now, it's time to do the back. No bolts, just wedge this into the back right over the axle. And then this is gonna be riding against the axle, so we'll jack the back up, and then swap the factory out for this. And then we'll lower the van back down, and this might, I'm not really sure whether or not it's gonna be resting on it or not. We'll find out in a minute. Now I just got one side done, and this is the difference between the factory bump stop and the sumo spring. So these are on the rear. So I just lowered the van. It actually doesn't touch on the axle when it's lower, but maybe when I'm fully loaded it might. I'm not really sure, because the van is pretty light right now because it's kind of in winterized mode. But when you install these, take note of the notch right here. So this is a little bit longer. There's a notch where I could slide my finger through compared to this side. So this is the rear of the sumo spring. So it's gonna to go towards the back of the van. The factory is really easy to get off. You just need a long uh, flathead screwdriver and you'll know, be able to rip this thing out in like 10 seconds. So let's get underneath the van. I'll show you how to do it. And then uh, hopefully we'll find some speed bumps to test these out. That's what it looks like compared to the factory. Pretty significant. I'll show you how it's done. It's a little tricky, but I already did the first one, so I, this one should be a breeze. And the muffler's not in there. The passenger side is a little bit harder because of the muffler gets in your way a little bit. This side should be super easy. That took literally five seconds. Not bad. All right, now the hard part. Remember, notch side goes towards the back of the van. Actually, 
I have a little bit of the rubber sealant stuck in there. So I need to grab, I need to pry that out. So the sumo spring can fit because it's just taken up. It's like a bunch of gunk. Not letting the sumo spring slide in there. So hopefully I can get it out. I want to get a thinner, sharper uh, flathead. I also have this. So I'm going to try this and we'll see how much I can get out. Cleared a lot of it out. Let's try again. Much better. Now I'm going to use some vice grips grab the corner and try and bend it back in combination with the flathead screwdriver and the other little pry tool that I have to wedge it in there. It's not that easy. You definitely need to use some force, but it can be done. I did the side with the muffler that gets in the way, so this side should be easier. All right, there we have it. The Sumo Springs are installed. It wasn't too bad. Kind of mastered how to do it. You gotta grab the vice grips on the corner, bend it as you stick the, the flathead screwdriver up. So it's bent, I guess, backwards as you wedge it in. Definitely need to use some force though. But it looks good. Let's lower this thing and call it. Project complete. So now we got the complete package from Super Springs International, which includes, it's a bit of a tongue twister here, but Super Springs, which go on the Leafs, these beasts right here. And then we just installed the Sumo Springs, which are the rubber bump stops that are basically on steroids. And we got them on the back and the front of the van. So our suspension is gonna be looking nice. I wish we had this in Baja so bad. I'm excited to take it for a spin. Test it on some speed bumps and see how it feels. But let me get out from underneath this van and clean up a little bit. Just gonna drive around the block. See how it performs. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do any speed bumps, but may as well just drive it real quick. I feel like there's, well, let's see. Might be less dip in the in the front as we sway the right and sway left. Super springs tighten it up in the back. Intentionally hit that curb just to see how the sway would feel. And with the super springs and the sumo, I mean that was pretty drastic. There wasn't much sway. There wasn't much rock. That's pretty cool. It would have been so good in Baja. Oh man. That's pretty rad. Hit the little bump there. No real... What we used to hear is like the, the shocks be fully compressed or whatever, exhausted. You would hear the air escape from them. I don't think you even get that anymore. Overall pretty good. I'm happy at this bump. Yeah, it's nice. Again, thanks to Super Springs International for hooking us up with the Super Springs and the Sumo Springs. We are so stoked to partner with you guys. And I'll need to go drive this over a speed bump to really test out the fronts. Oh. Well, how's she running? I took her off the curve intentionally and it's pretty good but i really like the speed bump is where we'll be able to tell the mess we are on our way to the hardware store right now we are testing the sumo springs it is a miserable day outside it's windy it's raining and we've been getting it feels like blown over but the sumo springs have been doing pretty good so far say these speed bumps are pretty weak the ones over at home depot which we're going to next are, per, are more intense, so hopefully we'll get a bigger feel for it, but here we go. Pumps. pumps, not bumps, huh? I mean that. That felt nice. Yeah, it did. Usually we, we would, like the shock would fully compress, like exhaust itself. I don't know how to explain it other than that. Second speed bump test. We're at the Home Depot parking lot. 
or about to be, and these speed bumps aren't humps, they're bumps or topes. So we'll see how they go. Usually I try and dodge them, drive around them. Okay. Oh, that felt nice. Yeah, it's way better. The shocks aren't getting exhausted, it's great. So we just got back home and I wish we had the GoPros while we were out so I could put the GoPros next to the wheel as we're driving over the speed bumps, but I forgot them. So I put the GoPros on underneath. I'm gonna drive around the neighborhood. Hopefully I don't lose a GoPro, but we will see what the Sumo Springs look like underneath the van while we're driving. It's kind of interesting trying to find the bumps in your neighborhood. Hopefully we can find some. I'm stuck at a red light right now, so. Also got the camera going, just in case I lose a GoPro. But I don't really think I'm going to know if I do. Because it's pretty difficult to see them, and they're relatively small. So, Alright, we just got a couple bumps here. A couple of sewers. It's looking pretty good. It's not getting wet because it's still raining outside. I think we're good. We hit a couple bumps. I'll tell you what, I am super pumped that we got the complete package from Super Springs International with the Super Springs and the Sumo Springs. It's a solid setup. We're ready to go off roading. But anyway, Thanks guys, hope you liked the video. It's a super quick, easy install, and I'll keep the van upgrade videos coming. But we'll get back to some travel content, and we'll see you in the next one.